hello and welcome to another video uh today we'll be looking at a strategy you can use to trade uh gold x a u u s d uh on my chart i have x a u s d gold 15 minutes time frame and i have i have about uh, five windows uh, my main window this is my main window okay this is my main window let me change the color of the shape to okay this color all right this is my main window all right I have some indicators installed on the main window to give me signals okay this is my indicator window one all right i also have uh some indicators that will guide me and help me in my decision making so i'm going to buy or sell okay let's go to indicator window two This is indicator window two. All right, and we have indicator window three. This is indicator window three, and then finally we have indicator window four. This is indicator window four. So the essence of having five windows, which is the main window. This is my main window. Indicator window one, indicator window two, indicator window three is window three, and indicator window four. The essence of having these five windows is to be able to filter uh, the signals generated for 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 the filter of the signals generated on all the windows all right to have a very um, accurate uh, signal of when to either buy or sell gold gold is a commodity that is very very volatile when trading gold if you know if you don't have the uh, accurate prediction you may run into loss when you run into loss I mean countless uh, number of times you may continually blow your account if you don't really have a system that can help you filter your trades when to enter and when to exit you can use this strategy or this system to trade gold on all time frames but for the purpose of this uh, explanation you will be looking at the 15 minutes time frame now let's quickly go to how we can use this system now we'll start with the main chart this is the main chart okay now on the main chart, the black, red and orange line is highlighted here. This line I highlighted above is for your trend uh, identification on the main chart. Okay, if price is below the collection of these lines here I'm talking about this line just a minute mm, let me go back to where i was before mm, just a minute i want to take it back to where i was before okay 
now we are looking at this line on the main chart all right this is the line this is the line of the black orange red lines they are the trend uh, lines to tell you whether you are have a bullish or a bearish trend so on the main chart so if price is below this line that means uh, the trend is bearish all right okay trend is bearish bearish and may continually fall price may continually fall this is the line i'm talking about here the black orange okay black orange and red line tells us that the trend is bearish this is the line this is the line okay that is what we are talking about now if price like price is above uh, around here okay uh, we have price above it so we continue to buy continue to buy gold as it stays above bounces or above it continue to buy look for buy like buy the deep buy every deep it stays above the line you continue to buy all right but if if price crosses down price crosses down okay look, like we have a down cross here it's a down cross so here we we'll look to sell right from here okay we we'll sell right from here we may sell we may place our sell trees anytime uh price gets to the upper bollinger bounce okay you can see what happened don't forget the trend is has changed there yeah, to bearish trend sell any sell at the top so like you have a top here at the upper bollinger bands you can place your sell trade here and then okay as long as the price stays below the trend identification line you can sell can sell 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 until you have a change in trend like we have a change in trend around here where you can look to buy by the deep all right and you can always buy when you have price okay for me the bottom all right all right so that's basically the essence of the red black orange lines let's go look at the settings of the main chart we have for this is the main chart we have the bollinger bands 20 period is 20 division is 2.0 apply to close and color is gray we have 200 period smoothed apply to close color is red then we have 14 period linear weight previous indicators data color is orange and we have 50 period linear weight previous indicators data color is black Then we have 13 period linear weight. Apply to close, color is red. Then we have Bollinger Bands, 20 period. Division is 0 0.020. This time around, the color will match the background.
chat color then we have moving average period is 40 method is linear width apply to close color is gray now that's that for the main chart now let's look at or apart from uh you look apart from you identifying the trend like you have a trend change here trend change here look to buy okay we have almost like a trend change here but it failed almost like a trend change here it failed it didn't last so we have another another trend change here okay now apart from you having trend changes like this a trend change here to bearish apart from you having trend change on the main chart you also buy you have buy signal when the red line when this red line crosses above the gray line like you have a cross above green line this is your buy signal cross below cross down below gray line when the red line crosses down below gray line this is a sell signal okay you can see what happened price went down shortly after this signal here you have a sell signal and it is okay to sell below the trend this is your trend trend identification line lines and you now have a development of a trend of a sell signal okay so it's advisable you ignore buy signal below the trend determination lines and it's okay for you to follow the sell signal while price is below this set of lines okay you can see there's a sell uh, like a sell trend like a bearish trend as the red line did not cross above the green line within the Bollinger Bands all right continue until you have uh, a crossover here to have a buy signal but don't forget you are still below the trend identification lines so you may want to ignore this or you may go for it and watch your trees and take a scalp because trend is still saying sell which is bearish now you have a trend change around here a trend change around here okay but it's not complete more like a range not a clean change so this is more like a range you may have to wait you can see it's like a range until it turns bearish bearish trend changes to bearish and you have a clean descent of price all right so all you need to do is watch as price continue to go down it's continue to go down and the red line stays below the gray line within the bollinger bands all right stays below the as long as the red line stays below the gray line within the bollinger bands you can always look to sell don't forget your trend identification line is still above telling you you are a bearish trend this is your trend identification lines it's still above you are okay to sell any rise in price okay more like a failed you have more like a failed bearish a failed bullish signal here okay red line crosses above but laps on it until it turns down as the turning down as it turns down sell at the breakout breakout below 
okay and enjoy your profit now you have a signal change around here where price where the red line crosses above the gray line within the bollinger bands for you to have a buy signal but don't forget their overall trend change at the green line is still above so you are still in a bearish trend we want to scalp quick short scalp around here okay let me stop your scalp trade somewhere around here as soon as you start to notice um like a top being formed all right now you have a sell signal developing here as the as the red line crosses down below the gray you know you have your buy signal here now as you have a cross here signal changes to sell then you have another cross as signal changes to buy so more like a range you have signal change at intervals close intervals so you are not in a range but the last signal is the buy signal then you have sales more like we are in a range around around this particular part of the chart so that's that for the main chart how to interpret the signals how to use the indicators on the main chart all right so let's go to indicator window one okay let me take it back to where we started from okay let's just start from somewhere now this indicator window one this indicator window one when the red line crosses down like you have a cross down around here on the green and the blue lines you have your cell signal all right cell signal your buy signal is when you have reverse of the crossing all right so if you sell around here okay shortly after the crossing you can buy around here you can buy around here okay shortly after the crossing all right you can also sell around here okay after the crossing you may be tempted to buy here all right but of course it failed and then we have another crossover for us to sell around here let's look at the settings let's look at the settings for indicator window one we have awesome oscillator no color still on indicator window one we have moving average 15 period period is 15 method is linear weight applied to first indicators data and the color is black still on indicator window one we have one period method is linear weight first indicators data color is red then we also have 16 period moving average method is linear weight applied to first indicators data and the color is green then finally on indicator window one we have another moving average 13 period linear weights apply to first indicators data color is blue 
And let's go back to the chart. Remember, I said when the red line crosses above the blue and the green lines, that's your buy. And it crosses down below, that's your sell. When it crosses above, your buy signal crosses below your sell signal. So we have looked at the main chart and we have also looked at how you can interpret the signal generated on indicator window one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, uh, make comments below the video, ask questions, we'll try as much as possible to respond to your questions. Also click on the bell button below the video for notification now let's look at indicator window 2 these are indicator window 2 this is indicator window 2 all right now for indicator window 2 when the red line crosses above the blue line all right you have your buy signal Okay, when it crosses down, you have your cell signal. All right. Like a failure here, crosses, but it failed. Really, it gave a buy signal. It also gave a sell signal. Okay. All right. So, if you have... A cross down like we have around here as a sell signal if you have a cross up red line crossing above the blue line that's a buy signal okay like you have another cross up here where the red line cross above okay the blue line for you to have your buy signal and if you look at the main chart if you see what's happening on main chart when you have alignment of signals like buy signals alignments you can see how it's it's it is interpreted on the main chart it bought price went up okay so you basically look at the alignment, like there's an alignment of signals here. And you can see, shortly after the alignment, your price going down. All right. So for this strategy is a combination of the alignment of all signals on the charts, on all the windows. That will give you the filtered perfect trade entry scalp trade entry and don't forget we are looking at the 15 minutes time frame for gold x a u usd now let's look at indicator window three this is indicator window three this is indicator window three okay let's look at the settings okay i've not given the let's look at the settings for indicator window 2. for indicator window 2 this indicator window 2 let's look at the settings before i go to indicator window 3. so for indicator window 2 we have relative strength index and moving average for the set settings for the relative strength index, we have 10 period RSI applied to close. Color is red. Then for the moving average, we have 200 period uh, moving average. Method is linear weight applied to first indicators data. And the color is blue. And don't forget, I said when the red 
RSI line crosses above the blue moving average you have your buy and it crosses below you have your sell now let's look at indicator window 3 I was about checking the settings earlier for indicator window 3 we have average true range we have envelopes and we have moving average for the average true range let's look at the settings we have the period is 14 and the color is red for the envelopes we have the period is 7 shift is 0 division is 0 0.100 the method is simple apply to first apply to previous indicators data the upper band style color is blue and the lower band style color is blue that's for the envelopes now for the moving average we have 13 period method is simple first indicators data and the color is gray so the way the uh, indicator with your three uh, settings works is more like telling you this is an impulse and this is a retracement price movement. This is an impulsive price movement. This is a retracement price movement. Okay, when you have the red line crossing above the blue line like you have around here okay and you trace it to when there is a counter cross like where you have here okay this is a counter cross this is the initial cross and this is the counter cross and you also look at it to the next cross okay if you check the distance it will tell you the longer the distance the longer distance like from this cross to this cross if it's longer than what we have here they to differentiate which cross is the impulse which cross is the retracement if the initial cross to the next cross is longer in length than the later cross to the other cross then you know that the initial one is the impulse like impulsive wave and the later one is the retracement before the next impulsive wave okay so the indicator with the three just tells you which one is your big move and which one is your retracement before the next big big move all right so some of the time the crossing may not align some of the time the crossing may not align with other windows but it identifies your retracement move and your impulsive move now if we look at the the charts all right from here you have your cross up to this moment up to this particular point so this is your impulsive move because price if you look at the main chart price went up price went up at a greater speed and a greater height and more like retraced up to this point more like a retracement here the depth the weight price went down is not this velocity and the the depth is not as compared to the way it came up here so here is your impulsive wave and down here is your retracement down here is your retracement for the next impulsive wave going up so the essence of this cross is to tell you this is the cross for your impulsive from here to this point is your impulsive from here to this point is your retracement before the next impulsive okay 
obviously this is the next impulsive but we all know price price does not create impulsive retracement impulsive retracement all the time there are times to create impulsive all right retracement another retracement then impulsive another impulsive in the other direction then retracement and so price does not really move in a predictable manner it changes and it forms different it goes in different direction sometimes in line with our prediction and sometimes against our prediction so the essence of indicator window 3 is to help you identify which is your impulsive which is your retracement if you can know your impulsive the next wave may not be retracement it may be another impulsive in the retracement direction so if you have an impulsive here and you want to have another impulsive the other impulsive will be longer and deeper all right for it for it to be another impulsive greater than the initial impulsive now the initial impulsive that has that you are expected expecting to be an impulsive will now turn to a retracement compared to the newly formed wave but what we have on our chart is a retracement all right so indicator window three the crossing will tell you oh we have entered another swing more like a swing this is a swing swing low swing guy all right so that's the answer of indicator window three now when you have alignment like you have a cross down here and you have a cross down here okay and you have cross down here okay if it aligns if it aligns you can take your trade you can sell but some of the time indicator with the three may give cross up all right so you don't necessarily have to align indicator window three with the rest of the windows all the time but when it aligns with the rest of the windows you are you are sure of the trade all right now let's go to indicator window four which is our last window this indicator window four all right let's look at the settings we have macd moving average moving average moving average for the macd we have fast ema is 12 slow ema is 26 macd sma is 9 apply to close and the color of the main and signal star will match the background color of the chart then we have moving average 250 period moving average linear weight the method is linear weight applied to first indicators data and the color is blue and the next is uh 200 period moving average method is linear weight applied to first indicators data and the color is black And another one is one period moving average method is linear weight applied to first indicators data color is red now let's look at how it works obviously when you have the cross down when the red line cross down below the blue and the black lines you have your cell signal when it crosses up like you have a cross up let's look for where it crosses up when it crosses up like you have around here you have your buy signal okay let's go forward um 
Okay, when it crosses up, like you have a cross up around here. Buy signal. When it crosses down, like you have a cross down around here. Red line crossing down on blue and black. That's your sell signal. Okay. And look at as you have a cross down here. It didn't it price uh, the line did not cross back up. It almost crossed, it almost touched the other lines there, but it still went down. And look at what happened on the main chart. Price went down. Okay. Price went down. Spiked down to this depth. Okay, so if you have a cross up, like you have a cross up here. A buy signal. Okay. Now if you look at there's a cross up here. There's a cross up here, there's a cross up here. Alright, but if you look at our indicator window three, you have a cross down. Alright. So indicator window three does not follow other indicator windows as we will have expected. It tells indicator window three will tell you the swing point. Alright. From a swing glue, I got a swing glue around here. Okay. So a swing guy. Okay. Now, from the point, you can now identify which one is your impulsive wave. Is this going to be our impulsive wave or a retracement? Or from here to here, is it going to be our retracement or our impulsive wave? So that's the essence of indicator window 3. The crossing on the indicator window 3 does not happen does not align with other windows some of the time so that is that for this strategy is a good strategy make sure you back test it on demo account you can try it on five minutes time frame you can try it on one minute time frame you can try it on 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours. Any time frame you feel like practicing it on. Make sure you try it on demo account first. You can check it with history or your charts. Okay. Back test the strategy before trying it out on live. So that's that for the strategy. It's a good one. Make sure the signals across the windows are aligned. Don't forget the trend lines. These are trend identification lines. Okay. If price is above this line, you look to buy most of the time. If you are going to sell when price is above this line, make sure it's a scalp sell. Until price cross down completely, like from here to here, still price still ranging above the trend line. Now you have a cross down here, when you cannot look to, for sell. Okay, when you have a cross down like you have around here, you look for sell. You start to look at all the windows. Do I have cross down? Like I have cross down here. Okay, this is already below. It's already below the blue line, which is which, which means it crossed down somewhere around here, and stays below the blue line, which means you can only sell. Which means you can only sell. All right, this is your cross down for indicator window three. All right, telling you retracement is over. Like more like this is the retracement. 
from here from this cross to this cross here is your retracement from here to here is your retracement now this is your impulse and you can see what happened on the main chart this is the impulse from here to here is the impulse while the retracement is just somewhere around here trying to retrace then impulse and on indicator window four you have cross down it attempted to go up there's an attempt to go up here but you eventually cross down and you have signal to sell okay and you can see it's been down below the blue and black line the red line is below the blue and black lines which means you can only sell all right this is down below the blue line you can only sell this attempted to go up around here but came down below here it means you can only sell all right the alignment is for sale starts somewhere around here we have a retracement then price goes down we have a retracement a retracement then price came down all right okay another retracement this is another retracement for price came down again so that's basically all i have for you as regards this strategy it's a good strategy you like it ensure you back test try it on demo for some time once you are sure you've gotten the grip you can now move to a live account and use this strategy to trade gold gold is a volatile commodity price can range for as much as 200 pips range before breaking out and then making like six or eight hundred or even one thousand pips impulsive move price move so you need a system that can filter the signals and give you accurate prediction and i assure you this strategy can give you that so don't forget to subscribe to our channel click the subscription button so that you get to see more of our strategies our videos also make comment below the video ask question to as much as possible to respond to your question also like click the like button and click the bell button below the video for notification you can also visit our website www.benefxtrader.com or fxfables.com where you get to see strategies we have published on how you can trade forex gold or volatility index so that's that for you for, for now that's that for now till i come your way next time 